My name is Sheldon Nestale and this is a quick walkthrough MailChimp. Here's your dashboard after you've logged in and I'm just going to show you the parts that you're probably going to spend most time in. So just over to campaigns. Here's just a list of your campaigns with a few statistics there. One thing I do quite often is just replicate an old campaign that's going to be quite similar so that saves a lot of decision making and options. So you can just replicate an old one that you know the settings are the same. Otherwise you can create a new one. We'll come back to that at the end. Templates, we'll skip that one for now, but you can look into that um, on your own time. Over to lists. So this is where your main list is. You might just have one. A fast way of adding just one person to the list is to click on that there. You can add their details straight in. Otherwise, import is probably another one that you're going to use most often. And what's really cool about uh, MailChimp is how easy they make it for importing a brand new list. So I often use this one here, copy paste from a file, like in a spreadsheet. And all you have to do is copy and paste it, all the, the whole spreadsheet straight into here, and it will ask you questions just to check which columns are the email address and first name, last name, that kind of thing. Okay, um, let's go back over to the next section. So that's uh, reports, and um, you can look through some statistics later on. Automation won't be looking at that this time. Probably the next part is um, just the help. So this is an amazing um, knowledge base of anything you need help with. You can just search into here. And just an important note is this is like a layer on top of your email campaign. And all you have to do is uh, to expose your um, account back is just to push on that. So let's search for automated emails. And these guides are so clear and well written, bullet points, subheadings, lots of screenshots and sometimes videos as well. So that's the first place you go when you're a bit stuck on something. Cool, the next thing I'll do is just take you through creating a new campaign. So create a campaign, put in your campaign name there, uh, type, just regular. And ask you which list you're talking about. So normally just an entire list, but just so you know, if you do keep an Excel spreadsheet version of your database, you can be very targeted and say only the ones I'm about to copy and paste in. So you might paste in a bunch of email addresses there and it will just send it out to them. So that's a pretty cool feature. You can see this progress bar along the bottom there. So um, set up email subject, spend some time writing a good email subject line, write it into there. Just check that all that is correct, don't have to worry about the rest of the settings. Uh, for a layout, I just normally just stick with one that I've done in the past, so I just grab an old email, one that I've already sent, or if I've taken the time to build a template, I choose that. So I'm just going to choose that one. So this um, panel here is like a preview of uh, what your email is going to be. And this one here is where you make some changes. So if you click once on there, there we go. Now I've got my editing panel so I can make some changes to this text. And I've just seen that it's time to design your email. It's like a extra section that's been added. So I've just deleted that. So you, if you get real fancy, you can drag in separate blocks of content into there. But I'm just going to keep it as one big text box. Makes it really easy. Once you finish making your changes in there, next and then you're just on the confirmation page so it just gives you a bit of a checklist of make sure you got everything right I'm sending it to my whole database there's my subject line replies are going to there and just look for any um, warnings social cards I'm not using any so that's fine it looks like all ready to go pretty much all tick there uh, one thing I really like to use is a schedule instead of just sending it out right now I like to schedule things normally for nine o'clock the following morning it just gives me a bit of a chance to do um, some tests or to have a little change of mind about what I want to write so I set it up for the next morning then you click on schedule and you're done uh, probably one more thing I'll just show you before we go is just the preview and test function so you can send a test email to yourself so that's a pretty cool thing to do you just have to take that send it to yourself or send it to a few people that are helping you just copy them paste right in there Send them instructions if you like, but otherwise get that test underway. So that's a really good way to do that. So there you go. That's just a quick walkthrough of MailChimp. Hope you enjoyed that. Cheers.